guys, welcome back. For today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through a Your Skin But Better makeup look. So these are my favorite kinds of looks to do because it's just really pretty and fresh, long wearing and super easy to achieve. So I'm gonna walk you through all the products that I've been loving. I have some new favorites, current favorites, and just some good stuff that I love for this fresh look. I also wanna thank e.l.f. Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. You guys, it is always such an honor to work with e.l.f. I literally use them in almost every single video. I love their products. And e.l.f., of course, equals eyes, lips, face. They have so many amazing products, super affordable. They're vegan, cruelty-free, and they have so many amazing dupes. So I love this brand, and it is my favorite drugstore brand because I always say you can be extra and feel extra without paying extra, so you can get that high-end look without paying that high-end premium price. So big thank you to them for working with me in today's video. We're also in natural daylight today because I love filming in the master bedroom. We get the best lighting in here, and then you guys can really see how all the products apply and wear on my skin. So I hope you enjoy. Make sure you grab a snack and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and let's get into this your skin but better makeup look all right so we are up close and personal i don't have any makeup on obviously just my brows i do want to mention i did prep my skin up beforehand and i did use the elf mint melt whipped face mask this has been my go-to you guys i have been loving it ever since i tested out the elf mint collection this has been my favorite weekly face mask it's super hydrating and i feel like my skin is super soft afterwards so i love this in the morning or at night sometimes even after i get out of the shower it just really hydrates the skin and keeps it nice and plump it's especially now in the winter it's like the perfect addition to my skincare so i've been using this one sometimes twice a week and i've been loving it so that has been a go-to of mine definitely recommend that if you're looking into shopping the mint collection that is one of my favorite products so i always start with my eyes no matter how simple a look is i mean sometimes i do the face first if the eyes are very very minimal but today we're just going to start with the eyes first so i'm actually going to just curl my lashes and go in with some mascara i have been loving the elf lash it loud volumizing mascara this is so black super lengthening does a really good job at separating your lashes it's not clumpy it lasts all day doesn't flake it is my current favorite mascara and it's only like six dollars so i'm gonna curl my lashes first whenever i do this look i don't really do any eyeshadow sometimes i'll do some blush or bronzer in the crease which i might do later on we'll see like at the end but typically i usually just do lashes with this look because i really like to just focus on the skin all right so i'm just gonna do a quick coat because I am gonna go in with falsies which is totally optional and if you get some mascara on your lids just let it dry take a q-tip and it'll flake right off so obviously I have baby lashes but like this mascara actually shows up on my lashes which is like so impressive I love it For lashes today, I am still loving the Salon Perfect 663s. These are so pretty. They really open up the eyes and I love how like black they are. These look so pretty, kind of like lash extensions. They really just give you that extra little oomph. I also really love the Double Up 614s. These are so good from Salon Perfect. You can get these at Walmart. These are also very beautiful. If you're into that lash extension kind of look, I think these are really great options. So I'm gonna go in with the Salon Perfect ones though, just because these are my babies. I love them. Just to show you what these look like I don't have any glue on them obviously but that is what they look like so they're a little bit more on the glam side but this is me I'm extra like that and I love the look of them just because I whenever I'm not wearing a ton of other eye makeup I think these just really make a statement and they're beautiful I also really like these whenever I do smoky eyes as well because they are really black okay so while that lash glue dries I'm just gonna take a q-tip and just clean up any mascara that I have on my lids never do this when it's wet because then it'll smudge and smear everywhere. If you wait for it to dry, it'll just flake right off. Okay, let's pop on the lashes. All right, so lashes are on. Now we're gonna jump into the skin, which is my favorite part and obviously the star of today's look. So I'm gonna start with a little primer water. I have been loving the Collab Grand Finale 3-in-1 Hydrating Makeup Mist. I tested this out about two weeks ago in a video and ever since then I have been using this every time I do my makeup. I love it before and after makeup. It's so refreshing. I love the spritzer and I love primer water, you guys know. So this one has a really fine mist, which normally I don't love in sprays. I prefer like a traditional setting spray mist but this one is actually really even when you apply it and it's just so nice it feels like a high-end spray but super affordable you can get this brand at Sally's so I'm gonna prep my skin with this and then we'll go in with an actual primer it also has a really light scent which I love mmm 
So now for actual primer, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. This has been another go-to of mine. This is really nice because it's kind of like a hydrating jelly primer. So it feels really nice on the skin. It's very cooling and minty, but it makes your makeup last all day. So I'm gonna do about a full pump, and this is what it looks like. It smells really nice. I kind of rub and then press it in. And I like to put this on everywhere because of course we want our makeup to last especially on the bottom because like if you're wearing a face mask that's super important so i really like it i love grip primers like this they work really well with my skin and they feel really nice especially because this one's mint so on the back here it says once applied wait 30 seconds before applying your makeup which i always recommend with primers just so they can really sink into the skin sometimes i even let them sit in for like about a minute or so and the warmth of your fingers will actually help the product to melt into the skin for an even application so i always like to do that with these kinds of primers so rub and then press in a little bit it just gives me the best effect. Next, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This is another current favorite, you guys. It is so beautiful. Long wearing. This is like the definition of your skin, but better. I only use like less than half a pump of this and it covers my entire face and it just really enhances my natural skin. If you want to build this up, you can. It has really beautiful coverage and I actually did two videos on this. If you guys want to check it out, I will link them down below so you can see it more in action, but this is a beautiful CC cream. It lasts all day and there's good ingredients in here. So it even says on the packaging, full coverage, natural finish. I absolutely agree. Whenever I'm having a good skin day, like today, I don't have a ton of breakouts. Like I have two little ones right over here that are going away, but I don't do as much product on my face just because I feel like I don't need it. But again, you can build it up, which is really nice. So I'm going to do honestly about that much for my entire face. So a little less than half a pump and I'm in the color 240W. It matches me perfectly. Another e.l.f. product that I've been loving is their Complexion Duo Brush. This is great for any foundation and spot concealing. So this brush is perfect because it really gives you that great coverage. It doesn't absorb any of your product. And then I love the little brush on the side because you can use it for the inner corners of your eyes or again for spot concealing. So I'm going to use this. And what I actually like to do whenever I use a brush or even like my sponge, I like to just take a little bit of the spray. So I'm using the one from Collab and just go in and blend this in. Just makes the products glide on a little bit better. You see what I mean? Like a little bit goes a long way. Like that was not even a full pump of the product. It's incredible. Ever since I tested this out last month, I have been dying over this. It's such a good product. And I normally love sponges to apply my products, but this brush is like my jam. It's really, really good. So I'm gonna use like the tiniest little bit for these little blemishes that I have and I'm gonna use the other side of the brush. So whenever I'm breaking out, this is what I like to do, just to really kind of concentrate the product and give me a little bit more coverage. So you basically get two brushes in one and this is like $8, it's amazing. So this combo has been my go-to. Now for concealer, I'm gonna go in with the one from Rare Beauty. I have mine in the shade 200C. This is really pretty under the eyes. I feel like it naturally brightens and highlights and just makes everything look, again, a little bit more enhanced. It doesn't have a ton of coverage, but I think the coverage is perfect enough for every day. I would say it's like a natural medium coverage. This is super creamy and it melts into the skin. I also love the packaging, so this has been another go-to. I figured I would switch it up, but you guys know I do love my e.l.f. hydrating camo that's like a staple, but this I feel like is very fitting with this look. And if you wanna enhance the coverage of your concealer, you can let it sit in your skin for a little bit. I recommend doing it with this one too, cause it is hydrating. If you have a more matte concealer, maybe not the best option, but with this one, sometimes I'll let it sit in for a little bit as well. Then I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge, one of my favorites, super bouncy, love this. I've been loving this since like 2018. It's like one of my go-tos. See how it just like melts into the skin and I love how it's nice and hydrating because my under eyes have been a little bit on the dry side so I need all the moisture I can get. So good. 
And now, of course, I'm gonna go in with some cream bronzer. I love the one from Fenty still. This one is my jam in the shade 03 Macchiato. This is really, really natural, but it gives you that really beautiful wash of color, like that sun-kissed look that I love. Cream products always make your products last a little bit longer. So I like to do creams and then powders over top, and then that just really assures for a long-lasting makeup look, and you don't have to worry about like reapplying or anything throughout the day. And with this one, I feel like no matter how much I do, it's never muddy on the skin. It's a formula, it's just like, like everything. And I'm gonna use my Fenty 125 face brush, of course. Now I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna use some cream blush. And the ones that I have been loving, you guys, are from e.l.f., the putty blushes. These are beautiful, definitely Fenty dupes, by the way. I love the color Bahamas and Bali. This one is a Bahamas and it is stunning. It's like the perfect everyday peachy color. They have a bunch of other colors as well, but this formula, immaculate. It's really, really nice. It's very bouncy and soft and it just gives you the perfect wash of color. Do you see that? Like. So I like to just use the same brush because it works really well. I usually just wipe it off with a washcloth after I use the bronzer. Ugh, the color is literally perfection. And so is the formula, like it just melts into the skin. So creams are all done, let's jump into powders. So I'm gonna set my under eyes and basically pretty much my entire face for the most part. And I'm gonna use the Kimchi Chic Puff Puff Pass setting powder. This is my favorite. I've been loving this for a few months at this point. This one is in the shade Translucent. This is a very seamless skin-like powder. So I feel like for this look, it is ideal. And I just put some on the lid and then I take the, or the cap I should say lid cap yeah and then i'm gonna use my nazanin kavari number four brush from bh cosmetics these brushes are still in stock and you need to get them if you have not tried them they are still my favorite i think these came out in like september and i can't stop using them i'm thinking about ordering another backup of the brushes just because this is their last restock and i genuinely love these brushes so much they i feel like make your makeup so flawless and like this brush is probably my favorite because it, it's just perfect for the under eyes so i use a smaller brush to kind of concentrate the product and then i go in with a more fluffy brush just to set the rest of the makeup very lightly this doesn't have any color to it so it's not going to like take away from the bronzer or blush and to set the bronzer i'm going to go in with the kimchi chic bronzer and this one is the thaler bronzer in i went to malibu this packaging though still loving this brand if you guys have not tried this you need to all of their products are great they have a bunch of colors in this one as well this is one of the lighter colors and it's a little bit warm so right up my alley another brush i always get questions about this this is again from the same nazanin kavari and bh brush set this is the number Number one brush I love it for bronzer I'm basically just gonna go over where I applied the cream I'm also gonna use this little elf brush this is from their retro paradise line but I'm just gonna use the same bronzer and I'm just gonna run a little bit right down the sides of my nose Okay, now for blush to set the cream, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Bite Size Face Duos. These are still a part of like my everyday makeup routine. I love the color Spiced Apple. White Peach, so pretty. Definitely a very natural blush color, but it's very ideal for every day because it just gives you like that natural blush look. Like you're just blushing from within. Like you just got a text from your boo thing or he or she just walked in the room. That's the kind of blush I like. And I also love the highlighters in these palettes as well. They're super natural. I'm gonna use a different one today, but these are also one of my favorite formulas. And this brush is from TJ Maxx. I got this a few years ago. Okay, now for highlighter, this is a really interesting product. So I was a little like thrown off by the texture and like the formula of it at first, but I love it. So this is the Collab Moon Bounce Face and Body Highlighter. So again, this is a brand that you can get at Sally's Beauty. So this is basically a cream kind of product, but then when you apply it, like you can use your fingers or a brush, it turns into a powder. And it just gives you like this beautiful kind of like lit from within glow. And whenever I do this look, that's the kind of highlighter that I'm looking for. I'm gonna use another brush from the BH brush set. This is the number five brush. And I, you could use your fingers as well. So this is how I like to apply this. So I like to just take the brush and kind of like apply it where I want. And then I will go in with my fingers 
to blend it in and really like press it into the skin and it's so natural if you want like a more intense glow this probably isn't for you but I just love something more subtle whenever I'm doing this look so literally just apply it like that and then I put a little bit on my finger and then I really just like press it in a little bit like above the brow This also smells really good. So when I first tested this out, I mentioned that this smells like my childhood because it does. It smells like a hair product that I used to use when I was younger and it just really brings me back to that time. So I love it. Definitely nostalgia whenever I smell it. Oh, I love it so much. For the eyes, the only other thing I'm gonna do is just probably do some brown liner. Sometimes I do brown, sometimes black, but I typically prefer brown with this kind of look. It's a little bit less harsh than black. And I also love nude on the waterline, but today I'm just gonna use a light brown and then just coat the lower lashes with the e.l.f. Lash It Loud Mascara from earlier. Now we're gonna set the brows and I'm gonna use the Glossier Boy Brow in the shade Black. I'm getting to the very last bit of this. I actually already ordered a backup. I just got it in the mail yesterday. So this is my favorite, I love it. Now I love to do this also whenever I have a simple eye look going on just to brighten up the inner corners of my eyes. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Metallic Flare Highlighter in white gold. I love it specifically for the inner corners because it really brightens everything up. Pop that right in there. Another option that I love whenever I'm doing a bright inner corner highlight is this highlighter from LA Colors from the Dollar Tree. It's literally $1 in the shade Shine Bright and it's a beautiful white gold shade as well. I feel like the one from e.l.f. is a little bit less gold and more white, but they're both really great and really make your eyes pop. So now for lips. Whenever I am going out, obviously I'm wearing my mask, so I usually just wear lip balm underneath, honestly, just to avoid the mess in the mask. And I love the Glossier Balm.coms. These are my favorite everyday lip balms, perfect before makeup throughout the day. They're really lightweight. They're not shiny, so they just add some good moisture to your lips. So I actually just got this new one, the berry one, but the mango and the coconut are my two favorites. I got backups of those. This one's really nice because it actually has a tint, which is very interesting. When I first put it on, I put on way too much because like when it comes out, I'll show you. It's literally like a purple kind of color, like berry. What you could do with this is, I'll show you kind of what it looks like on the back of my hand. So this is what I like to do, just to give me like a very like natural kind of wash of color. I just take this and just apply that on my lips. No lip liner or anything usually. And it just enhances your natural lip color. But if you are tanner, darker, this will be beautiful on you because again, when you apply it like directly, do you see how like dark that is? So I like to obviously tone it down so it's a little bit more wearable for my skin tone, but it smells really good. It smells like candy. I can't think of the candy right now. I feel like this just looks really pretty just with a lip balm just on its own. So yeah, this is one of my favorites. But whenever I wanna be extra and actually have a lip color on, I love doing lip liner and gloss or lip liner and lipstick, of course. So I'm just gonna line my lips with the Olimar Cosmetics Dulce Lip Liner. And then for gloss, I have also been loving these from the e.l.f. Mint Melt Collection. These are their lip plumping lip glosses. So I have the color here in Chocolate Chip, which is a darker brown, but it's very wearable. These are so smooth and creamy and very minty. And I like the fact that they don't sting, even though it's a plumping lip gloss. I also love the color Mint Chocolate. So this one's a lighter shade. I'm gonna go in with this one today, but this one's also really, really pretty. You see how creamy these are? Goes really well with the lip liner, and again, it just enhances your natural lip color. So this makeup look today is all about enhancing everything. Sometimes I also mix these two also, and I love that combo as well. Last but not least, we have to set the makeup to really lock everything into place and to give me that little extra boost of moisture. So I'm gonna go back in with the Collab Grand Finale Spray, and we'll be all done. So that officially completes this Your Skin But Better makeup look. I love these products, love this look. It's so effortless, really easy, and I feel like this looks good on everybody. Like, it's just really simple glam. So don't forget to check out the e.l.f. products that I used in today's video. I will link them down below for you guys if you're interested. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I love you guys, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.